Hey guys, so I wanted to make a second video for you to explain um, a little bit about your first project. Um, don't worry that we haven't had time to kind of go over this in class yet um, because we'll have time between, you know, when the first actual Photoshop stages of this are due and now to kind of um, go over that. But so what your first project will be is to create a photo montage. Um, and what a montage is, is basically um, taking pieces of something, if it's images or text or textures, whatever it is that you're placing together and kind of fitting them all together to create a new product from a bunch of pieces of old ones. So for your project, you're going to choose, um, it can be, a historical event, a historical person, um, it could be somebody famous right now, it could be a band, it could really be anything you want. Um, it says on here historical event or person, but if you have something that falls outside the scope of that that you think would be good for this project, then that's okay too. And you're going to create a series of three panels, which will look like this down here, one, two, three. And um, each one of these panels is going to be six by nine inches. Um, they can sit like this, where they're six inches wide, nine inches tall, in a row this way. Um, or you could rotate this and they could be nine inches wide, six inches tall, and you could lay them vertically below each other. Up to you. Um, but you're going to show um, kind of like a series of events or a series of time periods. So, for example, um, if it was a presidency, you could do the president before he was the president, while he was the president, and after his presidency, something like that. Um, they don't have to be over a long period of time. It could be, you know, beginning, middle, end of a relatively short time period, or it could be a long time period. Um, so it will kind of depend on what you pick for your subject. Um, where you can get your images, you can scan them in from books and magazines, or you can get them online, but as you'll see as we go through Photoshop, you cannot ever, ever, ever scale something larger in Photoshop. Um, you can go smaller, but you cannot go larger. It will not look good. And since we're printing these, we can't be using pixelated images. So if you find your images online, keep in mind that whatever size you find them at is the very largest that they will be able to be used for this project. Doesn't mean it can't be done, it just means that you're going to have to plan your layout accordingly. Um, when you are finished this project and you're passing it in, make sure that you cite where you got your images. Um, because you're students, you can basically borrow or use anything you want, um, but you have to cite where you got it from. Give the artist credit where the artist is due. Uh, must for the project, you have to use at least three images in each panel. Um, they must be at least 300 ppi in resolution. Um, so please don't scale things up. Um, and then it must be matted on black matting for presentation. Um, the total dimensions for the matting will be 23.5 inches by 13 inches, which allows you two inches on each of the borders here and three quarters of an inch in between. So that's the kind of outline for the project. Um, I found a few examples of previous students work that I'll pull up to show you to give you an idea of what this project looks like. Um, so this one here was done by a student last semester. Um, she chose Billie Holiday. The first part here is kind of before she was a famous singer. Um, the center panel is kind of during her high time of fame. The last panel is kind of when she spiraled downwards afterwards. So she's created a three panel series here that tells a story over this time period. 
Um, this next one, like I said, you can do them a vertical stacking instead of um, having them side by side. So the student did Nintendo. Um, the first panel is Nintendo in the 80s, the different characters and, and video game styles from the 80s. Um, then we see the 90s and what these games were like in the 2000s. This one is Disney. I'm guessing 20s or 30s over here. Disney mid-century and then more modern Disney in the last one. Um, and as you see here, it's not just the images that change, the color palettes change as well from kind of the old black and white to the new bright colors. So keep things like that in mind. And not even 100% sure who this person is, but um, it's montaged together extremely well. Um, but as you can see, this was over his lifespan. Um, the dates down here. You guys can put dates, um, like this one has dates and this one has dates. This one doesn't, so you don't have to um, if you think that it's kind of self-explanatory. So hopefully that gives you an idea. Um, so what I want you guys to do for homework after you have practiced the Photoshop video that I sent you about using the layers panel and um, resizing is I want you to come up with a subject that you want to do for this project. Um, I know we don't know how to assemble it yet, but that's fine. So you're going to pick a subject and I want you to write a give or take one page paper um, just explaining what you picked for your subject, give me a little background on it, any important details that you think need to be included if you were going to make a kind of a timeline of that subject. Um, that is this section right here, write your summary. Um, this is kind of your framework for your visual representation. So you're going to tell me the story right now on paper and then we're going to build the story in Photoshop. Um, so if you want to tell me the three different panels, what you think you'll they'll be. You can change it a little as you start to build it if things uh, don't quite pan out the way you plan them to, but basically who or what is your your subject and what would panel one, what would panel two, and what would panel three be based upon what you think is relevant. Um, put that together in a Word document or um, whatever program you use and um, we're going to bring those to class for next week so that we can talk about your subject matter. Um, I have more examples of these in the classroom hard copies, so we'll take a look at those then. Okay.